Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. This meeting is being recorded for those that can't make it tonight. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us tonight for our kindergarten parent meeting. Uh, my name is Amy Dittmar, and I am the Director of Elementary Education here in the Ankeny School District. And we are excited uh, to welcome all of our new families um, to the Ankeny Community School District. Um, some of you currently have students in our district, and some of you, this is your first time um, joining our, our community. And so we know that kindergarten is an exciting time. You're probably feeling lots of emotions. For some of you, if this is your first child that you're sending off to school, uh, you might be feeling anxious and nervous. Um, or maybe for you, if you're, this is your last child that you're sending off to school, you might be feeling uh, overjoyed. So regardless of what you're feeling tonight, I want to assure you that the people that you see on this call are going to go above and beyond um, to do whatever it takes um, to make sure that your child has a successful kindergarten experience. So we're going to start with introductions of our panelists. Um, we will have each elementary principal introduce themselves. Um, we're going to start with Ashlyn Ridge. So Mr. Moss, can you come off mute and introduce yourself, please? Absolutely. Thank you, Amy. Uh, welcome, everyone. My name is Mark Moss, and I'm uh, the principal at Ashland Ridge Elementary. Uh, just completing, I think, my 12th or 12th year, I think. So welcome to uh, new families and excited to see all of you in August. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom Mullenbrook. I am the principal at Crocker Elementary. Good evening, families. My name is Andrew Berg, and I'm the principal at East Elementary. Hello, my name is Laura Ryan. I'm currently the principal at Northeast Elementary, but will be at Heritage Elementary next year. Hello, excuse me. Hello, families. My name is Ben Muller. I'm the principal at Prairie Trail Elementary. Hi, my name is Suvada Kwurash. I will be the new principal at Rock Creek next year. I am currently serving um, as an elementary principal in the Cedar Falls area, and I'm so excited to join the Ankeny family. My name is Kate Sisney, and I am the principal at Northwest Elementary. Hello, my name is Erin Adair, and I am the principal at Southeast Elementary. Hello, I'm Joel Martin. I'm the principal at Westwood Elementary. Welcome. All right, thank you, elementary team. So parents, the, the purpose of tonight's meeting is really um, to share some general information um, about kindergarten. Um, also, a main purpose for our meeting tonight is in regards to registration for kindergarten. Um, that is our main focus, um, is to make sure all of our kindergartners in our community um, that are choosing to go to kindergarten this fall are registered and so we will um, talk about registration requirements we will also go over health requirements that you will need to provide for your kindergarten student um, before school starts we'll talk a little bit about kindergarten programming um, we'll discuss volunteering how you can get involved in our schools and then we'll wrap up with important dates to remember what you can expect from now until the first day of school and then some contact information should you have questions so we'll start out with registration information. Um, there are a couple of required documents for uh, registration. Um, in order to submit your registration, um, you need to make sure that you have proof of your child's age such as a birth certificate or passport, and you need to make sure you have proof of residency here in the Ankeny community. You cannot submit a registration without those two items. Um, so make sure you have those uh, uploaded so that your registration um, is submitted correctly. Um, for kindergarten, all of our registrations are date and time stamped, and um, once you hit submit, that will be um, the date that your application is uh, received. Um, for, also, we uh, collect home language survey information that is done through the questions on the online registration process. Um, so no other additional form to present with home language survey. The nurses form, you can drop those off at your child's school. Um, we would like to have those um, before July 1st. Um, so you can drop those off at school, you can email and scan them in um, to the office, or you can drop them in U.S. mail to get them to us. 
And then there's a kindergarten student information form that once you are um, registered, you will get this through the parent portal in Infinite Campus. Um, and this information just really gives us um, more details about your child um, and will help us uh, begin planning for a successful kindergarten um, start. I spoke about the kindergarten health requirements. Again, like I said, these are due to the building nurse by July 1st. Um, so we need to make sure that we have um, a copy um, from your doctor's office of your immunization records, or if you're exempt, we need the exemption certificate. Also need a copy of your dental screening, or again, an exemption certificate, and then your vision screening for your kindergartner. Um, it's recommended that you have a well check or a physical exam for your kindergartner prior to school starting. However, this is not required. The only things that are required are immunizations, dental, and vision screening. Again, those can be dropped off at the building, they can be mailed in, they can be emailed in. Um, if you come in over the summer, I would recommend that you call first and make an appointment um, so that somebody is there uh, when, if you're choosing to drop them off. So now just some general information, um, if you are not familiar with our um, elementary school programming. Um, all 10 of our schools start their day um, at 7.55. Doors open at 7.30. On Wednesdays, we do have a one hour late start. And so the school day on Wednesday is from 8.55 to 2.55. Um, we believe that it's important to start your child's educational career off on a positive start um, and teach them responsibility by arriving to school on time every day. Um, our kindergarten school supply list can be found on our district website. The current supply list that is on our website is going to be the same. So um, as if you use this year's or we'll post next year's here soon, but they're exactly the same um, for our kindergarten students. Some of our schools also hold a annual school supply sale for their PTOs. So if you're interested in participating in that, where the PTO will purchase a box of your school supplies for you and then you just pick them up at the school, contact your child's school um, to ask more information on that PTO sale. We do offer breakfast and lunch to all of our students daily. Um, we also offer a before and after school program um, for our elementary students. Uh, this program is an enrichment program. It provides hands-on research-based fun activities um, for our students to participate in enrichment labs. It's open every day before school at 6.30 a.m and then it closes at the end of the day at six o'clock. Uh, full day camps are offer, also offered um, when there is no school or in the summertime. Um, and a full program calendar can be found on our district website. I will tell you that space is limited and I believe we already have some waiting lists. Um, so if you're interested in registering for that program, you can get registered now. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're not sure what uh, school you're gonna go to, go ahead and get registered and get your name um, on that list. Um, and then if you have any questions or things you're wondering, you can always go to our district website. Um, and especially for the before and after school program, that information can be found on our website as well. Transportation, we do provide bus service to our students who qualify. Um, if your residence qualifies for transportation, you will be notified in August um, of, their, of your transportation information. Um, also, all of our schools have a PTO or a parent teacher organization. Um, and so you are we welcome and we invite all parents to get involved in their school um, by joining the PTO. And more information will be sent regarding that um, in the fall when school starts. So the safety and security um, of our students is our first priority. Um, security experts have recommended limiting access to students during school hours as an important strategy um, for protecting our students. And for this reason, all of our exterior doors are locked during our school hours. Um, visitors will be buzzed in through a single secure point of access at the front door um, through a, a phone and doorbell system. Uh, when you arrive to school, you'll ring the bell, you'll tell them who you are, who your child is, and then you'll be um, 
entered into the school and we ask that you go directly to the office um, when you get into the school. Um, we also recognize that um, some of our parents enjoy walking their child to class. Um, however, especially kindergarten, I know this is difficult, um, but however, we do not allow parents to walk their child to class even on the first day. So we do ask that if you take any of those first day pictures that you will do it outside the school building um, and then you will walk your child to the um, door where you drop them off. A staff member will meet them there and I assure you they will get to class and where they need to go. Um, we will take care of them. Um, so we, we don't allow parents to walk back to class. If you have a situation um, that is special to your child, I would encourage you to go to the office and talk with um, the secretaries or the principal um, to, to talk through your situation. Um, volunteers are uh, welcome in our school as well. Um, when you come to school to volunteer, we ask that you have um, completed our volunteer background checks um, and our volunteer information sheet. Um, volunteer background checks are good for five years, and then the information sheet needs to be updated yearly. Um, so each after that background check is complete, you're welcome to volunteer in the schools. Um, you'll arrive at the school, your ID badge will be scanned, and then you'll be uh, receiving a pre-printed ID um, to wear in the school that will help identify um, that you have followed our procedures. Our kindergarten curriculum, uh, we teach the Iowa core state standards in kindergarten um, in literacy, math, science, and social studies, as well as we teach um, the universal uh, core constructs and work habits, um, such as um, collaboration, uh, productivity, things like that. So we teach that in, in kindergarten through fifth grade. We also implement a, a PBIS, which is a positive behavior intervention and supports framework. Um, this framework promotes pro-social positive behavior in our students. So at the beginning of the school year and throughout the year, we'll be teaching expectations um, and reinforcing those and, and helping kids make those good decisions. Um, all of our schools are also implementing the Leader in Me framework. This is a uh, foundational skills that helps teach those executive functioning skills, um, and it's built around the seven habits of happy kids. Um, students are taught leadership and life skills to prepare them for that lifetime of personal success. You will learn more information about all three of these items when you uh, attend the back to school meeting, which will be in August. Some important dates to remember. So you're probably thinking, okay, what happens now between now and the first day of school on August 23rd? So here is your important dates to remember. Um, as you know, we're a rapidly growing school district. And so it's very important that you have, make sure you are registered by June 1st. Um, we have limited spaces in our classroom, meaning we um, have class sizes of 25. So when a school reaches capacity, students are then um, transported to the next neighboring school. So it's important if you, to try to get kids in their home school. We look at those registrations that we received before June 1st. Um, and then after June 1st, we still accept registrations. They're just considered late um, and they might not have priority in their home school, their resident school. Um, so why this is not optimal for um, families, we recognize it's uh, everybody wants to be in their neighboring school, um, but we try to keep those class sizes to 25. Um, so it's important to make sure that you have all the paperwork in. Um, you will be notified the second week in June as to what building you are assigned to. So the week of June 13th, you will get a, a mailing um, telling you your building assignments um, and also giving you some other important dates uh, for your child for August. Then on Tuesday, August 9th at 8 o'clock a.m., we in the parent portal in Infinite Campus, we will go live on who your teacher is. So I know that's always an exciting time to find out what classroom you're going to be in and who your teacher is going to be. You can log into your parent portal uh, at 8 o'clock on August 9th to find out your teacher's name. And then on Thursday, August 18th, we have a district-wide um, Meet the Teacher Night. So every student um, in kindergarten through fifth grade can go to their school between four and six o'clock. It's a flexible time. Um, you can bring your school supplies. You can meet your teacher. You can tour the building um, and start getting familiar um, with your school. 
And then also there's some other events happening in August that are building specific. So again, you're going to get information this summer in a mailing that will tell you some other events happening just at your child's school. But that meet the teacher night is universal for all of our elementary schools. And then the first day of school um, will be on Tuesday, August 23rd. So as I've said, our online registration is open now. So tell your friends, your family members, your neighbors who have kindergartners coming in to make sure that they get registered. Um, and we make sure that you have that done by June 1st. We're, we're anticipating over a thousand kindergartners this year. Um, and so it's important that you get um, your registration completed as soon as possible. And then I know a lot of you, even tonight, have been putting some questions in the chat box. Uh, and I have been seeing those as they come in. Um, but what I would encourage you to do is to contact your child's school um, with any questions that you might have. The, um, you have the principals that are listed here, or you can go to the website and find um, your principal's name, the school phone number. Um, you're welcome to email them or call up to the school, and they're happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, also, every school that you'll see on the website has a kind of a generic email address, um, and you can use that email address as well to ask any questions you might have. Our secretaries monitor those daily, and they, they're um, able to help you um, answer those, those questions that you have. Um, so again, the purpose of tonight was just to get to make uh, information out there to make sure you're getting registered and then just to give you a quick overview of um, some important information about kindergarten and what to expect between now and the first day of school. Um, in the meantime, uh, feel free to call, uh, email with any questions, um, be on the lookout for communication um, in the beginning of August uh, with more details about the start of the school year and some of those back to school nights um, that will be occurring in August. Thank you for joining us uh, this evening. Um, we're excited to partner with you um, as parents on this educational journey, and um, we hope that you have a great evening. Thank you very much.